joined by our head coach, Frederick Gillis, and our MVP. We thought you were Kelsey Nolan, so you would have had a phenomenal game. Instead, Sarah Rufo, either way, 15 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. You guys were down last weekend at half, came all the way back. This time, you took the lead, let them back in the game, and finally pulled it off. What were you guys talking about during that last time out? I know Coach has said that he doesn't talk. It's all about you guys directing each other. What were you focusing on? Um, we talked a lot about moving the ball around the key and passing to work on the drive talked a lot about defensive strategy and uh, playing well on the, the good players and yeah I think we executed pretty well. When they came back from that eight point deficit you guys were able to get the end one and then you had a basket a steal able to almost score again. Uh, what were you focused on is looking for the basket you've been so hot that entire second half what were you aiming to do? Um, I was aiming to slow it down. I know when we slow it down and we pass, we're able to get good shots in. Um, I was hoping to pass around the key to all my teammates because I know everyone can shoot. Um, just keep a level head, I think, because when we think, we have good strategy. We play pretty well. And finally, last week, you took that L against this team. This week, you returned the favor. How good does that feel? Pretty awesome. Definitely, for sure. Well, Sarah, congratulations on the big win. Thank we'll you. turn it over to Coach. Uh, Coach, you're dealing with a team that gets to play together all school year long at Boston Latin. Um, it makes your job a little bit easier. What are you aiming to do? I know that you and your assistant let the girls do a lot of it. Uh, um, but as a coach, what are what are your thoughts in terms of just trying to keep them level-headed? Well, I think me and my assistant, Coach Heffin, are letting them take control of their game, maturing on their own. And that's what they're doing. You can see it every time they come down. And I really appreciate the fact that they work together. It's not like one person saying, we got to do this. It's not one person saying, you know, we're, we're not doing it right. They're always looking for the right solution. And it's, it's impressive to watch. It really is. Well, a week ago, you only had the six girls, and you thought that might have been the difference. This week, the nine players, how much easier does that make it with the substitution patterns, knowing you're going to be able to keep some of your top players out there at all times? Well, I think the substitutions are great because most of all of them play the way they're supposed to play. No matter who goes in, they play within the scheme of what they know from playing all year round together. I thought today, running those plays by, you know, that team was really good. And if we weren't gassing them like we were, that, the outcome could have been different. But our girls all played consistently. There was no letdown. And that was a big part of it. And I say the seniors led them through to the end. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Good luck the rest of the summer. Guys, take it away.